People are making up the San Pedro Church in Spain, where a sad love story happened 300 years ago. A mysterious piece of Spanish folklore, the truth of which has been debated for a long time, may have just become very real thanks to this finding. Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the incredible discovery of two mummified bodies that were the key to a strange story. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. Yes, finding the preserved bodies could give the Spanish answers to questions they have had for a long time. Tourists have been going to the city that was the setting for a beautiful, exciting, and sad story for years, and they still do. The story in question started in the early 1200s, when the Marcilla and Segura families were both at the top of terrible social order. In theory, a marriage between a guy from the Marcilla family and a woman from the Segura family wouldn't be a bad thing because it would likely give both families more power and influence. Even though one of them no longer had a lot of money, the pair still loved each other. People even say that they met up in public, but it didn't end well. When the two sets of bones were found at the site of the San Pedro church, there were questions about how they were connected. Because they were both in the same group of friends, the fact that they liked each other didn't worry anyone. But when they were old enough to get married, Diego's family was going through a hard time, so they no longer had the money they used to define them. Because of this, Isabel's father told Diego he couldn't marry her, but Diego didn't listen. Still, the young woman did not want to die for someone else. She wrote this letter to her father to tell him she wanted to be single until she was 20. Since she had to wait so long for Diego, she could also learn how to be a good mother. Isabel's father didn't want her to marry Diego, but he loved his daughter very much, so he said yes to her request. He and Isabel waited five years for the Marcilla boy to come back, but no one heard from Diego during that time. The Segura family was left in the dark by Diego's silence. Also, Isabel's 20th birthday was coming up, which meant the five-year promise was coming to an end. In the end, the Seguras found another respectable suitor called Don Pedro de as Agra from Albarison, and he and Isabel went on the last day that Diego could have won her hand. But as soon as the wedding was over, there was a commotion at the gates of the hotel, and guards told the Segura family that someone they knew was there. Diego didn't want to give up on Isabel, so the night after she got married to Visagra, he snuck into her room and begged her to kiss him, saying, kiss me, I'm dying. But since Isabel had just gotten married, she didn't want to break her word to Agra, so she told Diego that God wouldn't want her to lie to her husband. Instead, she asked Diego to go on with his life. If God isn't happy because of our love, it shouldn't make me happy either. When Isabel said no, then Diego had nothing left to live for. He couldn't stand the thought of being separated from Isabel forever. So he took his last breath and fell at her feet. He died in front of the person he loved. When Isabel found out Diego was dead, she got a cold feeling. She woke up her new husband, as Agra, and told him that his snoring wake her up. She also told Agra she wanted to hear a story. After Agra did what his new wife asked, Isabel told him about how Diego had come into their bedroom and kissed her. She wore her wedding dress and walked down the aisle again. This time, though, she walked up to the front of the church, where the body of her lifelong love lay. Diego may have died, but she had not. Isabel felt she owed Diego one last kiss, the one she hadn't given him in life. But as soon as she gave it, she died on top of Diego's body and went to sleep with the man she had always loved. Shortly after they died, the people in the town wanted them to be buried together so that they could be together for all time, even though they never got to be together in life. In 1560, the bodies of Isabel and Diego were put on display in the church so people could pay their respects. Isabel and Diego varied in tombs that matched the supposedly great love story they had. The elaborate grave chambers were made by artist Juan Devilis in the 20th century. He also put the Segura family crest on Isabel's tomb and the Marcilla clan's arms on Diego's. 
The carved figures on top of each structure have to be the most interesting part. The sculpture that looks like Diego is reaching out to the one that looks like Isabel. These models are meant to look like the famous couple. Still, some people thought the story was too good to be true. And not everyone was sure that Isabel and Diego's bodies were inside. In 2015, historian Fernando Lopez Rigital set out to show once and for all whether this was true. He did this by working with scientists and doing his own research on the bodies that had been thought to be Isabel and Diego's for a long time. Skeptics have pointed out, for example, that the Italian author Giovanni Boccaccio wrote a story called Girolamo e Salvestre in 1353 that is very similar. Boccaccio wrote a much hotter version of the well-known events in his version of the story, which is an interesting counterargument for those who think the lovers of terror were real. People also say that the original story was written by a woman who had a monster inside her. Just as people go to Verona to see what is said to be Juliet's famous balcony, Isabel and Diego fans have continued to bring attention to the small Spanish city of Isabel and Diego. Terso de Molina, a famous playwright, wrote about the tale in 1635. A few hundred years later, Juan Nugenio Hurst put the story of the lovers on stage. Since so many people know the story of Isabel and Diego, terror continues to celebrate its claim to fame every year around Valentine's Day. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comments section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.